So, uh, despite now we are playing with the cable sizing and uh, system performance. Okay. Kita akan masuk ke bahagian cable sizing. Eh. For the grid connected. Before that, okay, before that, uh, let's reflect back to the record as the power losses that come from the that might come from our system of the grid connector PV system. So uh, solar power will will be degraded and will be degraded based on the several factors. Okay. So all of the follow effect. Okay, all of the follow affect the conversion of solar power to electrical power in PV system. Uh, we know already the efficiency of PV cells. You, you guys can hear my voice, eh? Boleh dengar lah, selalu saya, kan? Eh? Terlalu slow. Okay, Malaysia. sir, okay. Yeah, okay, kan? Tak ada masalah, kan? Tak ada masalah aku, tak ada masalah aku. Kira tak ada masalah ke? Haa. So efficiency of PV cells or modules, okay, that's the, uh, that's, what, that's why people are looking for the high efficient. So interesting, high efficient, I think confirm uh, more than 20% of conversion efficiency of PV module to minimum, okay, minimum 23, 24, 25 maybe, or more than that. And one is temperature of the PV module. We are we know already. Uh, we have learned lots for uh, temperature is higher voltage reduce. Okay, voltage reduce. So once voltage reduce, power. Okay, power so will will reduce. Okay. The effect of the temperature to the PV module because they are using the silicon base, okay, silicon base solar cell. Most cases uh, will degrade, uh, that's why we call it degrading factors, okay, the STEM, temperature coefficient factors, temperature correction factor. Next is the dead, dead, dead is the uh, dead factor, maybe 3% or 4% because uh, if we leave the solar modules just like that for certain period of time, confirm, confirm, you will see a dust or dirt on the modules. Though it's not really, uh, not the small dust, uh, if the, if your system, if your PV system is close to the construction sites, so that one really, really give you a negative impact to your output, to the output of the PV module, the PV system. Yeah, especially during the uh, during this season, okay, this season if if in Pahang lah, right? Pahang or the uh, Pantai Timur ni, kita monsoon kan? We have the monsoon wind, so that that wind will blow all the things kan? away. Eh? So if we live near to the construction sites, then all the dust that coming from the cell will totally cover up our our sometimes our mirrors, our windows, and of course it will land on your PV module itself. So the dead dust, if we if you live just like that, worst cases, worst cases it becomes can become hot spot also. Worst cases. If the you know the, when the, the sand is blew away from the by the wind, sometimes you know the leaf or other things, other particles also will will land on your PV module at the time it will create the hot spot. That hot spot if you live just like that, you don't care about anything happens on your PV module, so you totally lead it to the disaster in the future, in the very near future. Okay, so that is the, that is about that. And then, uh, manufacture tolerance, okay, manufacture tolerance, the tolerance, okay, the power tolerance, okay, power tolerance yang ada plus minus sebelum ni setuju kan, yang ada ikutlah, 3% ke, Okay, five percent ke, and eh? it can become also as minus zero plus ten, also possible. Okay, also possible. Anything ah, uh, 
So for this case, you are going to take the the minus one, the minus value. Uh, uh, means in this case, is here. It become what zero point nine seven. I mean the FMM, okay, FMM. And then the uh, for this case, it's totally zero. Zero means perfect, lah. So your FMM become one, lah. FMM can become one, okay. If the case of minus zero, for example, okay. And then voltage drop in DC cables to inverter, uh, voltage drop uh, can come from the the length of the cable. Eh? This, this is logic. Once our because after this we are going to calculate the voltage drop of the cable. It totally depends on the total current flowing through the cable the size of the cable, the length of the cable route you know, from the PV module to inverter, for example, that will totally uh, affect to, to, to the voltage drop itself. Eh? Okay. So that is the voltage drop from DC cable to inverter. And then inverter efficiency, okay lah. Uh, logically, inverter efficiency, a good brand sometimes gives you 97%. It was sometimes ninety eight point six percent, but nothing has has perfect lah. Uh, biasanya even even in ninety seven ninety five also already high enough the efficiency end. But if you can look for the brand like Huawei, a phone is maybe they go at this ninety eight. That's good, uh, very good for that. Okay, voltage drop in AC cable to point of connection to grid. This one is for the, about the AC cable lah. AC cable means after the inverter, uh, after the inverter to the grid usually usually from the after the inverter to the grid it's not that long huh? you know uh, any m system i mean the the household net energy metering system is not very very long i mean it's not the cable is not that that what I call, uh, long but for the substation i mean the for the solar farm then sometimes they need to pull until you know, after the transformer, after the transformer, the last panel, the switch panel until the pencawang, so until the grid distribution, uh, the TMB one, sometimes they need to pull 5 kilometers, 6 kilometers, 7, 11, 12, depends on the location. Uh, that's why connection to the to the TMB grid uh, is very, very, uh, very important. The location of you to choose the solar farm, Okay, the place for installing your solar modules farm, okay, solar field, solar power plant field, then uh, until the, the TMB, until the TMB grid too, uh, sometimes it, it takes several kilometers. Eh? So that one also with effect to the losses also. Okay, ini biasanya uh, ini daripada contoh eh, solar farm to the nearest PMU. Eh? Subsession, okay. Subsession, TMVB. So that one sometimes several kilometers. Okay, sometimes several kilometers. Okay, that's the for the for the AC part. The DC part from the cable, uh, from the PV modules to the inverter, the cable between that, which is in the, the DC DC signal. Okay. Next is the shadows. Like I told you, shadow also. Uh, okay. Can do the hotspot lah. Can lead to the hotspot. This uh, we do the solid site. The uh, we can the site visit is very important lah. The site visit is very important. Even though in the in the real field, in the real situation, in the reality, in the company that provides the consultation of designing the solar farm, they give the design using the PVC software. For example, if we have time, then we I'm going to show you how to basically use the PVC software if we have time. Uh, the one in all in the system, even you can generate the PSH with sun hours by interpolation uh, calculation. They bring you the data, how much is the sunlight. You still remember right, the PSH, the monthly with sun hours, eh, like per day, four hours. Eh? In a month, maybe 120 hours, that kind of data can be generated. Uh, 
uh, can be generated through the PVC software, for example. But still, you need to go to the site. You need to uh, physically uh, go to the site and see exactly what happened there. What, how much trees are there? Is there any shadows from the buildings or the nearest uh, trees or just the plan land? So the site visit is very critical. It's not only in the... You cannot just refer to the Google map. Google map design and finish. You need to go there. Once the design is done, then go. They will have the site visit there. They need to make sure all the things that you're going to install will not block, will not be blocked from any obstacles, including trees, buildings, or small hills, anything. Okay. Next is the edging. Okay, edging. Uh, typical case. Typical case, once you buy a new solar module, usually they give you a warranty around 20 years. Okay. Solar module lah. Or maybe sometimes 10 years, something. But I think most cases, maybe you can say that 20 years usually, as soon there's no people hit on the module in the surface of the module, so there will be no problem. Lah. Yeah, tak ada masalah. Lah. So, but all are uh, still uh, the MC4 connection under the behind the solar module also are properly sealed. So, sepatutnya tak masuk. Air ke apa benda ke semua tu tak, tak ada timbul masalah tu. As soon there's no people, nobody hit directly on the surface. So, uh, 20 years maybe. It can be stand. Okay. And then the next is the tilt and orientation angles of the PV array. Like I told you, the, the facing, eh, the facing that we do. For example, the shake is uh, maybe facing to the south because we are in the north, facing to the south around 5 to, five to maybe 5 to 12 degrees or 15 degrees to the south, for example. It totally depends on the uh, local community, the data. Okay, by the website, and also they have the kind of regulation there. They have the guidelines already. So, don't make mistake by treating your modules to the trees, tree side, okay, to the hill side. So don't make mistake uh, by not knowing where is the sun rise and where is the sun's down, uh, sunrise and sun, sunset, uh, sun sets. At least you have to know the direction of that. Uh. You cannot, for example, you cannot put your your module if you put your module face if you face your module towards the east, east to west. East, okay, toward the east. You are going to get the, yeah, you are going to get the energy during until midday lah. So after midday, the the sunlight will go up and then go behind. When when the evening comes, the sunlight will go to other direction. So at that time, you are not going to generate anything. So don't make the kind of mistake. Lah. That's why the tilt and orientation angle of PVR are critical. Still, same side visit, okay, side visit. Of course, from the internet, they can check the, you know, Google Maps, something like that. But uh, still need to go to site visit eh, and do the solar power finder, okay? The solar power finder one. Or oh, solar power finder. Okay, solar power finder ataupun Sun Eye. Sun Eye ni advanced sikit lah, dia belas ribu lah. Yang like, ni tak payah nak Tak payah nak gelabah apa nama, marking sendiri kan, dekat the black paper, no need. They give you already, you snap, uh, you have the white cam there, the, the camera there, facing upright. So, snap aja dia boleh cari. Betul ada GPS semua, so all complete. That one sun eye, quite, quite expensive lah. I think, uh, almost 20,000 maybe for the, that small device. Okay. Boleh dengar saja kan? Kan? Boleh saya. Saya macam cakap seorang. Boleh saya boleh. Suruh buka kamera lah. Okay. Boleh eh? Okay eh? Lim singing. Okay? Okay sir. Tak tidur eh? Boleh eh? Uh. Anisha okay Anisha? Okay okay. Okay. Masih intact. So, uh, just a uh, special explanation. I expect will be so dead and soiling. Yeah, Fidos. Kenapa Fidos? Macam nak cakap? Tak, tak, saya. Tak, 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 t
protest lah kan. Nak nyanyi eh. <laughs> okay, okay. So, dirt and soiling. So, if dirt and debris such as leaf build up on the surface of PD module, they will shade the module. Okay, the shading and the shading and the shade of the sunlight, everything that's one is critical for for our system lah, for PV. Reduction power output will depend largely on the site. Eh? I told you before, if you are nearly your your location, your farm is situated nearly to the construction site, uh, that one quite risky lah, uh, for your module to get covered frequently and fastly okay? compared to other, other place. Okay? So the relative factor, uh, fairly common practice to use FD 10% reduction due to soiling for very dirty sites and 0.95% reduction due to soiling for relatively clean sites that experience regular free rainfall means that uh, worst case lah, mungkin yang if I say uh, you're leaving your place or your house uh, located nearly to the construction site you need to consider until, until maybe that level of 10% lah 10% dirt factor for very dirty sites dia tak adalah sampai 50% tu tapi 10% lah that worst case lah ataupun duduk dekat gurun Sahara contohnya kan that one also maybe more than that 10% 15% maybe but for the normal place like normal places maybe in Pahang or even in the KL uh, in most cases you can up to 5% only lah okay so the factor pun habis-habis kuat pun 5% lah in, in typical case okay in typical case but everything must depend on the question lah if I put questions if I put in the question 7% so follow lah 7% kan eh? sekali saya lah saya buat salah sekali lah so manifest tolerance tu Okay, account for the small output variation between individual modules produced by the same manufacturer and normally specified on the motor dashing. Mostly, eh? mostly uh, is on the data sheet. Lah. Okay, they are written there, that value of the plus minus. Okay, plus minus, for example, 3%. Okay, or if they don't, uh, mentioned if you don't mention in the data sheet you can still find it okay you can still find it nanti saya tunjuk lah okay if the manufacturer tolerance show minus 3% okay maksudnya less than given macam saya explain itu eh kalau dia punya rated is 315 watt mana dia pergi okay 315 watt so 3% minus 3% means that you're going to get 305.55 ah. okay Lepas tu adalah dia punya tolerance dia 300 berapa dah? 10 lah eh, lebih kurang. Tambah 10. Hmm, mungkin lah 325. Ni very good condition. I mean the, in the in the standard test condition it can vary from 305.55 until 325 watt. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sini tak ada contoh ke? Contoh ke eh? Okay. If uh, If this value is not given Okay. If the value is not given directly How much percent there? 3% ke? Minus 3% ke? 0 ke? 10% ke? 5%? Doesn't mention anyway. In that shape, you still can find it. Okay. Uh, contoh Tapi contoh eh, internship maximum power Okay 100 watt That's uh, I mean the rated power of the module lah Memang dia 160 lah sekejap 100 Okay 100 watt Okay There will be another power Maximum power Ataupun in other words, I think they write uh, mana ni? Okay, warranted, warranted. Pasal ni lah warranted, warranted power. Please find the words of warranted power or guaranteed power. Warranted power or guaranteed power? 
sometimes they write uh, oh yeah, minimum kot. minimum uh, p max ataupun minimum maximum power kelakar lah maximum power ataupun minimum power sometimes they write that okay usually that will then if you see the words if you find you can this this kind of words if you find and then check the what first most cases i believe dia akan rendah lagi daripada atas tu 97 ke 97.5 ke atau 95 ke what ke something at the point point most cases the value for the warranted or guaranteed or minimum power ni less than the maximum power ataupun kita panggil atas ni lah PMP ni ha okay ni PMP eh kita bagi PMP most cases ni yang ini dia lagi rendah dia lagi rendah daripada PMP yang standard ataupun PMP yang dekat series number tu kan ha, maksudnya itu so ini bila bila when you uh, when uh, when should you use this kind of wording or when should you aim for that wording ni yeah, bila when you see Allah mana ni the plus minus 3% yang ni pula yang ni pula mungkin nama dia tadi saya cakap kan uh, whether manufacturer's tolerance manufacturing tolerance power tolerance or power tolerance eh? power tolerance or tolerance sometimes they use the the wording of tolerance only but usually they are located near to the PMP punya value lah usually but there some cases they put isolately in 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 the sometimes in the in the wordings down after the after the data sheet okay any tolerance you, you can usually the value plus minus plus they must be plus minus okay plus minus so that one is the tolerance if you see that kind of plus minus one then okay you don't need to think just take three percent means your fmm and fmm become 0 0.7 okay all right but if you don't see it looking for the wings these wings okay warranted guaranteed or minimum pmax or minimum pmp or minimum power the clue is the value the value is less smaller than the the rated pmp one ha ni sepatutnya dia lebih rendah okey once you see this kind of things okay then it's easy for you to calculate lah you can easily calculate that contoh eh alamat apa macam ni okey bawah ni so maksudnya ini how to calculate that uh, 97 Sekejap eh. Sekejap kan. Sekejap. FMM 1 minus. Okay. 1 minus. PMP minus uh, Kali cakap ni Guaranteed eh Guaranteed lah Guaranteed Ataupun nilai ni lah X ni Okay Saya bagi bulat tu lah Bulat kor PMP Over PMP This one multiply with 100 lah Tapi at the end, one minus something lah. Faham tak? Maksudnya, uh, contoh kat sini. Okay, let's say kat sini kan. E, 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 okay, FMM. One minus uh, 100 minus 97 over 100. Okay. Then dia berapa? satu tolak a uh, 3100 0.03 betul dia get 
0.67 uh, Betul 0.67 For the FNM You remember eh? Maximum PMP PMP bukan maximum lah PMP minus Minimum PMP ke Guaranteed power ke Warranted power ke Over PMP again Then you get the Manufacturing tolerance How many percent Then in order to get the FMM Then one minus lah One minus that value Okay Understand? Boleh faham? Afiq Afiq Ashimi Yes sir Faham? Boleh? Setengah faham kan? Tengah nak cerna <laughs> Mm -hmm. Faham maksudnya kalau percentage tadi tu tak jumpa In case maksudnya the tolerance tu Macam yang saya tunjuk minggu lepas tu tak jumpa And then you still need to find for the FMM kan ha, Kita nak kena cari juga berapa tolerance tu So kita kira manual We are going to calculate it manually So nak calculate manual ni tu kena cari Wording warranted guaranteed minimum tu dalam datasheet Di dalam datasheet Mungkin saya tunjuk kot lagi tunjuk lagi kalau kalau ada contoh yang berkenaan. Contohlah ini maksudnya macam toleran tak diberi eh tak diberi nak buat macam mana? Nak cari macam mana? Okey. Let's say warranted pun tak ada, guaranteed pun tak ada, minimum Pmax pun tak ada, apa semua toleran apa pun tak ada. So nak buat macam mana? Nak buat macam mana? Uh, Najiha Azizan Najiha Ya kejap sir oh. Kalau tak diberi semua eh um, Kena oh, assume dia bawah value 100 tu Contoh yeah. eh contoh eh Okay ini uh -huh. uh, okay Kalau kalau plus minus 3% ataupun dia tulis tolerance Power tolerance, manufacturing tolerance ke ada bagi persen-persen plus minus tu okay Cetel you boleh kira lah You boleh dapat pun you, Maksudnya dia You akan ambil yang 3% tu 1 minus 3% you nak get 0.7 Okay tu fine Kalau tak ada tu pula You cari pula kira sendiri kan Macam saya tunjuk ni kan betul Kira-kira-kira mm -hmm. mm -hmm. dapat juga Contohlah dapat Kebetulan dapat juga uh, 3% then 0.7 Okay let's say semua ni tak bagi Warranted apa benda tak jumpa Guaranteed pun no minimum pun not, It's not there so what should you do Nak buat macam mana ni kita still lagi kalau nak kira energy ni kan sebelum ni dia FMM lah. Macam nak buat? Value tu macam mana? Apa kita nak buat dengan FMM tu? Kita break down dia. Cari setiap. Break down? Maksudnya? <laughs> tak 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 Okey lah, awak cuba cari kan. Cuba cari juga macam mana pun kan. Let's say lah tak jumpa lah. Memang tak ada. Dia bagi PMP, dia bagi VOC, dia bagi IC, temperature coefficient dia kurang. <coughs> apa tu tak ada toleran segala macam pun tak tulis. You nak you nak buat macam mana? FMM tu nak buat macam mana? FMM. Nak tak letak value apa? Tak pasti. Value. <laughs> tak sure ni kalau, ha, ni kalau kita kira dapat net seven kan. Ataupun kalau ada ha. 10% dan 25 kan ha, Kalau tak ada Inverter tadi kalau tak ada kita boleh assume 0.95 Saya ada sebut sebelum ni kan Kalau oh. tak ada inverter efficiency Mula-mula kita kira tu kita boleh terus letak 95% So what about the manufacturing tolerance? Tak tahu? Tak ada idea? Tak berani nak teka? <laughs> tak pasti Saya bagi contoh tu <laughs> Tak apa, tak pasti tak apa. Saya tengok mana ni. Boleh? Boleh eh? Okay. Nur Jihan. Ni, Nur Jihan ni Serina. Ya, yeah, saya se. Ya. Yeah. Nak buat macam mana? Takkan nak assume value juga kot. Ha. Itu lah saya tanya. Nak buat macam mana? Assume value lah. Assume value ke? Assume lah. Nak assume apa? Nah, yang berapa tu saya tak tahu. Tapi yang pasti... Boleh kurang daripada satu. Apa ulang balik? Uh, kalau asset value dia punya value kurang daripada satu. Kurang daripada satu. Kenapa mesti kurang daripada satu? Cik, tanya-tanya. Sebab FMM semua 
Dia pukul nombor satu dia kan Kan masa tadi dapat 0.97 macam tu Sebab okay, okay. satu tolak ni kan Dia punya formula kan satu tolak ni, ni, ni dapat ha. Tapi kan saya cakap ada modul yang dia minus kosong Minus kosong 10% plus Ha yang tu tadi ada saya cakap Ha yang tu, yang tu untuk kes tu macam mana? Kita buat macam mana? Itu sebab value dah bagi kan? Aha. So kita letak FMM ni sebagai Macam tambah 10 ataupun tolak kosong macam tu Tolak kosong kan betul? Ha okay. Saya berpendapat okay sini Kalau value tak bagi bolehlah assume satu Kita anggap perfect lah menatang ni Kita tak boleh nak Kalau awak letak 5% For the sake of typical value Saya rasa macam tak ada lah kalau betul-betul dia perform Jadi macam satu saya merasakan satu penghinaan pada company tu. Jadi kalau tak ada value tu, tulis satu je. Betul. Okay. Ah, faham. Okay, dia perfect lah. Kita anggap perfect lah ni. Dia tak nak cerita. Perfect lah kot. Ah, tak berdosa. Ah, contoh. Uh -huh. Macam tu lah. Maksudnya kalau tak tulis. Kalau tak tulis je. Eh, mana tu? Alamak. Eh, mana pergi dek. Hilang cil. Okay. Yeah, tak jumpa ni. Okay, FMM ni Kalau tak bagi, terus 1.00 Satu terus lah Haa, satu oh, terus oh. Boleh ambil ni dah satu Memang cari betul tak jumpa lah Tapi memang ada kau tak nampak Atau pun tak jumpa-jumpa, ada tulis tu Kau kau tulis satu Saya akan salahkan jawapan tu Sebab saya dah skema kan Saya dengan yakin saya akan salah Macam tu lah Boleh eh? Boleh kan Najihah? Ya, saya. Jihan boleh? Boleh. Okey, Sas. Okey. Eh, nak pergi awal lagi ni. Dah lah, start lambat nak pergi awal. Okey. Then, shading and module notation. Itulah macam saya sebut tadi. Can be a major contributor to loss of system performance. Okey. Shading ni leads to a voltage drop lah. Okey, voltage drop. Okey. So, tahu kan bila shading Total generated voltage tu macam tu tadi dia tutup satu dia akan kacau then voltage tu memang totally akan drop untuk modul tu so bila totally drop uh, dia akan kacau the whole operation lah so total voltage untuk string tu pula akan drop bila satu tu dah drop ataupun worst case dia drop daripada 30 drop terus contoh 30 volt ke terus drop dari 5 atau 6, 7 sebab ada block blockage tadi ada obstacles on the modules ataupun from the shading the whole string tu akan drop bila the whole string akan drop dia akan effect kat mana? inverter voltage window tadi tu And, kan kita dah belajar itu kan minggu lepas yang ada contoh lah yang kita contoh tu 230 sampai 500 ke tak ingat 500 volt kan, window voltage, inverter window voltage tu ataupun MPPT voltage range of the inverter so kalau tadi drop kan, maksudnya dia akan tak sampai kan ni kan dia akan rendah benda ni rendah smaller so bila small, for example become 215 for example because of the shading, the, un, uh, the unplanned shading ke 215 volt, upa-upanya Sampai kesudah tutup, dia tak on pun Inverter, tutup channel tu tak on langsung pun Sebab dia memang tak achieve So, when it's the inverter will not turn on The inverter will turn off So, when the inverter turn off, you tengok pelik Eh, kenapa? Tak ada output pun Rusak mana? Bukan pun cari dah tempat lain Ingat inverter rosak, tukar inverter Tukar inverter jadi benda yang sama Rupanya dekat modul study Sebab ada shading saja. Sebab tu ada hotspot study For the solar, solar farm Solar farm field punya uh, site new study kan Dia ada analisis tu That hotspot tu Kita nak detect There's a For example Dr. Shawal doing the Hotspot detection tu using the drone The maintenance imaging And If we are talking about the 4 megawatt solar farm tu Doesn't matter lah small size But if we talk about the 120 megawatt of solar farm There will be lots, thousands or tens of thousands of modules Macam mana you nak trace kan? Macam mana you nak trace Ada hotspot tu dalam masa yang cepat ha, Sebab tu it comes a drone, monitoring, something like that lah Hanya semata-mata nak cater this kind of problem lah From 
happen in the future. Okay? So tak boleh turn off. Bila turn off tu, you akan rugi, loss besar gila. Satu string tu akan off. Kena molek banyak tempat, then dia dekat chow the whole uh, exported power tu kan. Uh, kita memang ada syarat kan, exported power tu ada, adalah siapa yang pergi LI kat uh, solar farm tu, dia ada, kita panggil sebagai ada uh, power control, uh, capacity testing apa semua kan. So dia kena 30 megawatt ataupun dia ada plus minus dia. Contoh 10% kan, berapa-berapa kan. Kalau tak ada benda tu kan, dia ada masalah lah. Dia punya exported power tu tak cukup, nanti takut the whole year nanti tak achieve the whole energy yield, dan you akan kena penalty, tak ada masalah kan. Okay. Okay, current voltage that already affected by the radiation. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. Sekarang ni baru nak masuk size. Okay. Cable size. Sekejap lah. Sekejap, sekejap eh. Okay. Okay. Boleh kan? Boleh? Zul Fikri boleh kan? Zul Fikri. Boleh ke? Boleh lagi eh, boleh bertahan lagi eh. Sikit ke, sikit ke, sikit ke. Kita cuba, kita cuba. Okay. Uh, we are talking about the cable size. Sekarang kita kat bahagian cable size. Uh, when designing system, the string current is known once the module is selected. While the DC main current is known once the size of the array is specified. Okay. String current tu we know already once we have the module. Maximum lah. So, maximum string current tu ataupun kita panggil string current maximum tu kita will be based on the uh, current. Modul select je tahu dah berapa string current. Pada array current ataupun the DC main current tu sebenarnya based on the size of the array. Okay. Size of the array tu berapa parallel dan sebagainya. What must be determined in the is the minimum cable size required to meet the required uh, voltage drop. So the minimum DC and AC cables are calculated as okay. Saya pecahkan kepada dua. Ya. Okay. This is DC. Tak boleh kerja sama ke? Okay, DC and this is the wait. AC. Okay. AC and DC. Equation is very straightforward. <laughs> very straightforward lah from the original equation. Okay. Two multiply with FL DC cable. Apa ini L? L adalah length of DC cable. Okay. Length of DC cable. And then uh, a DC cable tu adalah uh, dia bukan thickness eh. Bukan thickness eh. Di unit dia bukan thickness. Itu adalah cross section area of this cable in millimeter square. Okay. In millimeter square tu maksudnya cross sectional. Cross sectional area of the this cable pula tu. Okay. Sekejap paham ni. Yeah. Contoh lah ni ada cable. So ni. Ni dalam EPS ni. So, cross-sectional area ni, okay, area ni punya size lah. Ini yang when we say about the 1.5 and 1.5, 2.5, 4.0, 6.0 tu is actually the cross-sectional area. Okay, cross-sectional area. Not the thickness. Okay, not the thickness. Tahu semua ni and basic. So, 6mm square tu maksudnya dia lagi besar lah. Okay. Solar cable lain yang saya cakap kan, dia double insulated. Okay, double insulated. Solar cable, kalau DC cable dia ada yang single insulated lah. Dia ada insulated satu layer je. Okay, tapi yang the, 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 the important thing is the, 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 the copper part. The copper part tu, area tu. Construction area tu lah yang penting. Yang tu lah. 1.5, 2.5, 4.0, 6.0. Okay. Okay. 2 multiply with LDC cable. Uh, maksudnya length of the cable tu darab 2. 
Apa maksud dia? Okay, siapa lah? Oh, buku penuh. Okay. Modul lah, eh? ni modul. PV modul. Ni apa? Inverter. Allah. Inverter benda. Inverter. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Multiply with two tu maksudnya apa? Plus minus. We have two cables there. Oh, of course, we have grounding. Okay lah, grounding kan. Grounding ni orang terus uh, Allah. Grounding terus. So, dalam modul tu tebuk. Ada tempat tebuk lubang dekat aluminium frame tu. Then, tarik kabel. Uh, 6.0 or 10 to the ground. Untuk grounding kan. Adding, adding. Adding ni kan. Ataupun dia tu lah dia sambung ke kepada AC kita ikut lah. Okay, sambung pada adding lah. Tapi, Basically plus minus lah yang akan pergi ke inverter tu. Then of course lah. Uh, sini adalah demi ground ni sendiri. Kan? Inverter adalah ground ni sendiri kan. Sama juga tarik ground ni sama juga. Okay. That plus minus means that. This is the meaning of to multiply with the length of the cable. Length of the cable tu means DC cable tadi lah. DC cable from where to where. From module, from module, uh, from module to the inverter. So that's the length definition of the length of the cable. Okay. Boleh faham? Boleh, sir. Boleh. Faiz. Faiz Gamil. Yes, sir. Faham. Faham, eh? Yes. Okay. With two multiply with that. Okay. And then we multiply it with the IDC. IDC to what is that? IDC is the DC current. Okay. DC current. Okay. IDC to is the uh, DC current. So IDC kat sini, kita nak pakai I yang mana? Ha? Kita nak pakai ISC ke? Ke kita nak pakai IMP? Ha, nak pakai mana? Kita nak pakai mana? So string current tu kita boleh pakai uh, IMP. IMP pun boleh. Okay. Kalau ambil IAC, IAC lebih kecil nilai dia. Eh bukan. IAC lebih besar daripada IMP. It's larger than the IMP. But if the larger in the upper one, tempat ni jadi larger tu dia akan jadi lebih kecil kan. Apa dia akan jadi kabel lebih besar lah. Kabel lebih besar. Tapi kalau kita pakai IMP, kalau pakai IMP, nilai dia akan jadi sedikit kecil. Okay, nilai dia akan jadi sedikit, sedikit kecil. Tapi untuk kes ni boleh pakai IMP lah. Yang ni, yang ini boleh pakai IMP. IMP. Kita pakai IMP lah senang. Sebab bawah ni adalah VMP string. So kita pakai AMP. <coughs> And then uh, ada nilai rho kat sini. Rho is fixed biasanya 
Copper Okay Copper ni biasanya sebab kita guna copper wire Mostly kita pakai copper wire So the 1 over 56 Ataupun if I'm not mistaken 0 0.0 1 7 8 5 7 tak ini lah So the row, the row, the row 1 is fixed also Okay And then What's next? Uh, loss What is the loss? Loss is the maximum voltage drop in conductor. Yeah. Maximum voltage drop in conductor. Okay. Three uh, percent, for example. So three percent. Okay, three percent. Kalau yang melibatkan only string, string cable only lah, string cable. So ini terpakai untuk strain dan array But you need to calculate separately Okay, with the string and array Dia biasa Okay Tapi equation ni Okay, equation ni is still the same Still the same to be used Okay Aku beri contoh Okay Yang ni memang uh, common equation for the uh, This cable but, like I told you, we have string cable, array cable kan? That one need to calculate separately. Separately eh? Means there will be two types of calculation. String and array. Okay, string and array. Still use the same equation but the value is quite different lah. Value slightly, uh, kena different lah sebab length cable, length of the string cable mungkin lain. Uh, length of the array cable will be different. Okay. Loss tu, uh, let's say we decide string cable tu tu eh Loss tu memang sama juga lah yang kita decide uh, Soalan decide Like I told you, maximum voltage drop allowable Based on, on machine standard 1837-2018 Oh, 2015 That one, uh, 3% kan? 3% max So if the, there's two cable, string and array they must be total up of the voltage drop in total must be 3%. Must be 3% tu maksudnya apa? Contoh string 2% array 1%. But the total voltage drop for both string and array cables are 3% max. Ha, tu maksudnya. So maksudnya you can only kira satu je lah Kalau pengiraan in in, in 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 the question They asking you a very typical case They don't mention we have string cable, we have array cable Then you calculate satu je Okay Tapi kalau Biasanya contoh eh, dalam assignment Dalam assignment tu memang saya purposely Memang kita memang design tu memang kena ada string dan juga array Okay string contohnya string cable Length dia 30 meters for example Array cable 20 meters. So separately. Means that separate. You need to calculate separately that. String cable satu, array cable satu. And then the VMP string. Okay, VMP string. Yang ni in one string. How many modules? Kita dah kira sebelum ni kan? Berapa modul? Contohnya kira untuk inverter dapat 11, 15, 16, 17. So that string voltage lah. VMP string. Not the single module of the voltage. But the total voltage of the whole string Contoh, for example We have uh, 10 volt eh, 10 pieces In one string VMP STC 30 volt Means that VMP string tu sama dengan apa? Atika Nordin Okay, Let's say VMP tu 30 volt In one series we have 10 pieces of modules connecting series So VMP string ni berapa? Um, yeah. Tiga 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 Apa tiga? Apa ni? Berapa volt? Berapa volt? Saya tanya berapa volt? Satu, berapa volt? satu biji Okay satu biji Oh sorry ni STC sorry 
satu biji model tu 3 30 volt lah dia punya VMP dia eh VMP dia 30 volt for example so I'm talking about the VMP string ni bawah ni so berapa volt um satu fan ada satu fan segi so rasanya string voltage tu berapa 10 volt okey 10 tu 10 pieces satu modul 30 jadi 10 darab oh satu modul 30 300 300 ah so so easy <laughs> saya lost cloud dah tu saya nak buat apa nanti saya ada contoh sikit kot lepas tu kalau buat assignment mungkin faham kot mungkin nanti saya rajin kita buat satu satu exercise ke kalau rajin lah so 300 volt lah maksudnya VMP string eh string voltage tu string voltage tu kita, bahagi, kita kena bagi dengan string voltage ini untuk equation uh, DC cable untuk AC cable <coughs> okay AC cable ni dia ada ini panggil apa? Power factor Sorry. Ini adalah power factor kan? Ha, ada power factor dia berapa? 0.95, 98 kan? Okay, lepas tu dia bagi dengan VSC Sungguh pun begitu In this uh, subject lah Kita tak kira kat benda ni Ini tak mau kira lah Kita tak masukkan Okay, we only asking you uh, what about the DC only lah We asking you about the cable of the DC lah Kita tanya this cable tu Ini kasi tak? Ada soalan? Sudah. Okey lah kita pergi example lah. Senyap lah korang ni. Ni nak habis ni. Kelas ni. Boleh eh? Boleh, boleh lagi ke? Eh, siapa ni? Siapa ni? Dah tertidur ke hujan-hujan ni? Ni malah okey? Ni malah? Okey doktor. Yes. Okey okey. 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 Okay. 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 <laughs> Sufi. Okey ke? Ya oh now me eh. Okey okey. Saya dalam kereta menurut ke pentingan. Apa? Yolah, yolah, yolah Kira okey lah tukuk eh, nakib, nakib Okey, oh. sir Okey eh Okey lah, kita pergi ke example lah Kan, example Aku dah mengantuk lah, okey Okey, a PV string comprises of seven modules Okey, seven modules Where each module produce 5.35 amps and 19.7 volts of current and voltage respectively Okay, kat sini saya tak mention lah ada ISC ke IMP ke apa benda ke saya tulis 5.35 amps Okay, if the values given, you boleh ambil uh, IMP pun boleh, IC pun boleh, boleh lah dua-dua boleh, tak kisah IDC tu maksudnya, you can choose either IMP or IC but my prefer, my prefer is IMP Okay, but still kalau you tulis IC tu tak takpelah boleh. Okay. Where each module produce 5.35. Then uh, ada 7 module. So keyword here. 7 module. Ayo. 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 module. 5.35. Nothing for 7 module. Yang ni senang tulis terus lah. Ni kira VMPSTCN ni. 
ini IBC dapat ya ini terus number of modules in string so ini uh, NF lah string. ataupun number modules lah number modules okay since okay dia tambah since the distance between this PV string and the combiner box is 10 meter What is the suitable suitable size of cable to be used for the system? So PB string between this PB string and combiner box. So tanggap combiner box tu uh, dan merangkumi mencangkupi semua sekali modul tadi lah sama ke inverter lah. Okay, PB string and the combiner box tu tanggap dah sama inverter lah sebenarnya. Okay, what is the suitable size of cable to be used for the system? Assume resistivity of copper wire and voltage drop are 0.017857 ini adalah resistivity untuk copper 1 over 56 tadi ditulis dalam tu je and then voltage drop here is the 2.5% respectively okay so the question is asking you ni very simple lah very simple suitable size of cable to be used. So nak kena buat macam mana? Terus sekali kita nak buat macam mana? Amirul. Tu ah. Dah hujan dengan tu. Amirul. Ya. Yeah. Ha, nak macam mana ni? Dapat soalan ni nak macam mana? <laughs> tak fokus lah tu. Tahu. Tak tahu ah. Eish. Syahdan, Syahdan. Ya saya. Ya. Ha, nak buat macam mana ni? Dapat soalan ni nak buat guna. Banyak tu. <laughs> Aduh jauh lah. Jam saja. Kena buka, kena buka webcam ni. Tengok budak-budak buat apa. Tijur ke main game ke. <laughs> yes, eh? Aduh jam jam. Uh, tak apalah. Sekejap. Dah lama kan tentang ni. Kalis, kalis. Ah sudah. Muhammad Khalis. Banyak teguh. Hujan lebat saya, hujan lebat. Hujan lebat kan? Aduh, jam orang ni. Darab tujuh tu. Apa? Darab tujuh. Ha, darab dengan apa? Apa benda nak kena darab tu? Uh, current, current dengan voltage tu darab dengan tujuh dulu. Okey, jawab sekejap eh. eh. Tak dengar suruh kau sekejap. Current dengan voltage darab dengan tujuh. Hmm. Okey, okey. Okey, mula-mula macam tu dulu lah. Rasa macam tu lah mula eh. Hmm, saya rasa. Mula kita buat apa dulu mula? Mula-mula kita tulis dulu question. Okey. Okey. Mula-mula tulis question dulu lah. Saya personally kalau dah keluar soalan ni Allah Akbar dia pula ni. Tulis dulu question. Eh ni question ni kan busuk-busuk kan. Pasal lagi ke kan. Ha, dapat satu dah. Ha, question dulu. Tulis question dulu. Open book kan tak ada masalah. Copy je. Okey apa-apa hal kat sini kita tulis dulu question. Okay, tulis je. Then kita akan start memasukkan video-video yang sepatutnya. Kan. Berbalik pada Atikah tadi. Sebab Atikah dia respon kan. Yang lain semua aku rasa terbaring dengan ni kan. Uh, sikit lagi eh. Saya janjikan sebelum tiga setengah kita habis. Okay, sebelum tiga setengah kita habis. Okay. Uh, we have seven modules. Connected in string. So maksudnya itu ada kaitan dengan string. Satu string ada seven modules. Okay, fine. Means that we have maybe a PV string kan. But the clue here is Wah, wah Buat dia dia pergi Rosak dah tu datang ni Sekejap eh Tak jumpa jalan keluar Okay PV string 
Eh, uh, PBC. Satu lah maksudnya. Satu. Ada tujuh modul. So, satu tak tujuh kot. So, satu modul, satu string tu ada. Uh, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh. Ini bukan bulat-bulat eh. Ini namanya string. Ini namanya PB modul. Anggaklah PB modul lah begini lah untuk dia. Okay. Okay. Then, okay maksudnya bila dia ada sepuluh, eh ada tujuh maksudnya ini akan efek ke mana ni? Tujuh ni. Tujuh darab apa ni? Stream voltage lah kan? Ini maksudnya stream voltage. Stream voltage tu pula 19.7, betul? Ya, yeah, stop. 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 Stream voltage tu 7 darab 97. Eh, dengar suara saya ke? Saya macam makin tak dengar pula sebab hujan lebat. Dengar. Dengar je? Jelas, jelas. Okay. So, maksudnya yang tu akan efek kat mana? Yang tu akan efek kat sini lah. Ya. 7 darab 97 tu akan masuk kat sini. Okay, settle. Dan apa lagi? Uh, oh ada 5.35. IDC. Okay, settle. Ni 5.35. Alright. Then ada row. Masuk terus ni. Eh. Tara. Okay. Lepas tu, oh ada 2.5%. Yang ni sub. Masuk sini. Maksudnya akan jadi 0.025. Okay. Ni yang datang ni. Eh. Mana dia? Tara 10 meters. So 10 meters. Terus. Allah. <laughs> tak nampak. So 2 darab. Uh, 2 multiply with 10. Multiply with uh, 5.35. So the IDC. And then multiply with 0 0.017857. And then over 22.5%. Which is the 0 0.025. And then 19.7 multiply with 7. Then kita buat lubuk you akan dapat 0.5542 mm2. Okay. So this is the value that we get after we calculate exactly then we get this kind of value. However, okay. Ini standard eh? Okay, standard size cable. Standard size cable, ini yang memang standard awak dengar lah kan? Okay lah, ni mungkin ada 1.25 lah eh. Discount sikit. Ada 1.25, ada 1.5. It's okay lah. 1.25, 1.5, 2.5, 4, 6, 10, 16, 25, bla 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 eh. Okay. So dekat sini, we need to choose the cable, the correct, the suitable size of cable. The cross-sectional area that we have calculated, kita dapat apa? Ni kan? Kosong 0.5542 mm square. However, we don't have this kind of cable in the market. Kita ada 1.5, 2.5, 4, 6, 10, 16 and 25. So which cable should we use? Sekarang kita calculate. When we calculate, we get 0 0.5542. Then, which cable kita should use? Soalan saya menunjukkan kepada Anishah Shakina. Which cable? Kalau ikut standard market, maybe 1.25 tu kita kena melebihi daripada yang based on calculation lah. Okay, maksudnya kat sini you akan ambil 1.5. Okay, okay 1.5. Okay, okay. Okay, thanks eh. Anutra. Anutra. Hello. Anutra ada tak dalam ni? Moshi Moshi? Tak ada. Ay, tak ada pun dia. Tuan Nur Atikah. Tuan Nur Atikah seorang lagi. Atikah? Tak ada juga Atikah ni. Okey. Semua tidur. Tak bangun. Siti Nur Aliza Azmi. Ha, panjang semua nama.
Yes sir. Okey, dah sebab tak tidur. Ha. Nak pilih mana tu? Kawan awak tadi sebut tak ingat nama tadi. 1.1.25 uh, or 1.5. So which which cable you should use from the list ni? Oh, oh, tak tengok, tak tengok. Hello. Satu <laughs> banding lima tak sah. Uh, apa? Dah balik? Tak tengok eh. One point two five ke? Tak tahu lah, ikut saya. Satu pun. Kau tulis, kau tulis. Kau tulis itu. Okay, 1, 2, 5. Okay, soalan. Jawapan yang sama. Nafis. Nafis yang kena. Setiap kali yang saya tanya. Nasib lah, Kau pun boleh fokus kan? Yes, sir. 1.25 juga. 1.25. Tiga orang dah jawab 1.25. Fatin Nadia. 1.25. 1.25. Okey. Tak nampak dah list. Cik tanya orang lain. Fakhurul Hakimi. Fakhurul Hakimi. 1.25. 1.25. Apa aku tak tengok? 1.25. Ha 1.25. 1.25 eh kau orang ni tiru ni. Hazib Khairi Azhar. 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 Hazib Iru ni. Kita tanya. Nio, Nio. Which cable? Tak dengar. I cannot hear. Para pa pa pa. 2.5. Wow. Jawapan lain. 2.5. Why Nio? Why? Why must 2.5? Tak ada jawapan. Nyo jawab 2.5. Try to be different eh. Bagus lah idea. Beza yang ni lah. Berani berbeza eh. Berani berbeza. Tak apa kita tanya lagi. Oh, nari ni. Nari aku nak tanya ni. Sekejap eh. Uh, Safi Hanani. Saya rasa empat se. Empat terus? Kenapa empat? Ya. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sebab ada tujuh modul. So okay. kosong poin lima-lima darat yang tujuh. Kosong poin lima ni dah nak dengan tujuh. Okey itu kau punya kita dah fikirlah. Okay, tak <laughs> Beza juga. Sekejap. Test orang lagi. Test orang lagi. Uh, Okeylah kita tanya. Pei Lim. Pei Lim. Uh, I think 2.5 maybe. What? 2.5. 2.5. Why? Try to be different also. Just, just a guessing oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The correct answer is A more size, okay, the closest one that is compatible with 0.5542 mm square is 1.5 mm square. So, ramai lah yang betul. 78 orang kan. Akan tetapi. However, dia ada dekat sini. Dia comply. Dia terikat dekat sini. Based on MS Nation Standard uh, 1837-2018 minimum cable size that can be used is 2.5. Okay. 
2.5 Dua orang betul kat sini Siapa tadi tu? Uh, P. Y. Lim P. Y. Lim dengan Neo Tapi reason tak tahu ha, Jawapan dia Kita ada standard Standard inilah regulation The standard MS 1837 2018 ni for the Malaysian case lah Okay Malaysian case So 2.5 Even though you calculate you get 0.1 Also, you need to use 2.5. You cannot use 1.5. If you use 1.5, you against the Malaysian regulation. Sinful, berdosa. <laughs> Dosa besar. Ha. Maksudnya, tak boleh. Walaupun sebenarnya the closest one is 1.5, you still need to use 2.5 millimeters. square. That's the reason. Because of this standard. This standard uh, don't allow you to use lesser than the 2.5. Maksudnya minimum kabel tidak ada dalam Tidak ada dalam awak punya kabel link apa sistem ke kabel ke tak patutnya ada 1.5 untuk kes modul tadi Tapi untuk load Untuk load eh untuk load yang mana you sambung DC ke That's all lah kalau ada load apa benda Ataupun load AC seperti biasa sebab kita sambung inverter kan Sambung inverter dan jadi become AC for example Dan daripada grid pun sama je deviation dia 1.5 contohnya for the fan and the lightings LEDs Ada one 1.5 tu okey tak ada masalah pun tak ada issue pun. Sekarang kita cerita pasal penggunaan DC cable size ni mesti minimum 2.5 mm square. Boleh Fatin Kristina? Boleh. 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 Alhamdulillah. Syukur. Okey. Eh sikit je sikit je aku suka berjanji kan. Berjanji nanti laju agak. Kata dua setengah, tiga setengah. Okey. Kita pergi next boleh tak? Nak habis dah betul janji-janji. Nak habis dah ni nak habis dah. Tak jauh dah tak jauh. Okey. Okay, we finish about the cable size. Remember, cable size in millimeter square is not the thickness, but it's the cross sectional area, which is in millimeter square. Okay, millimeter square. So next is the voltage drop. Okay, voltage drop. Eh, aku nak garis gigi ke nak garis voltage drop sampai. Biar tegak. Okay, tak apa. Voltage in cable due to the resistance, result of power loss in the cable, blah blah blah, assistant cable. Okay, excessive long cable will lead to the higher voltage drop. That's logic. Eh? EPS pun you dah belajar pun. And then, yang inilah saya cakap yang digariskan panduan ini. Okay. Mana, mana, mana. Okay. Okay. Ni penting untuk awak mengetahui. Bukan untuk diafali tapi penting untuk diketahui. Originally, MS1837 2010 2010, the cable from the solar array should be selected so that the voltage drop is less than 5% Originally adalah 5% Ini enggak critical ni 5% Tapi ni pada tahun 2010 lah 2010 After 8 years of revision Okay A new revision of 2018 version Dia sudah kurang lah ha, Kurang sikit 2018 dia sudah drop menjadi 3%. Okey menjadi 3%. Saya tunjuk dah sebab saya saya refer buku sebenarnya. Okey. Di tangan saya ini bukan promo buku ya. Ah uh, tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, di tangan saya ini ada buku yang original ni. Kau nampak ke tak nampak ke aku tak peduli. Seda Malaysia Grid Connected Photovoltaic System Design Course. Ya ini the real book. The real booklet yang dipelajari oleh manusia-manusia yang ambil certified course grid connected nak jadi installer designer nak jadi designer siap nak dapat certificate seda-seda yang saya sebut itu inilah buku dia inilah bukunya sebenarnya okey ini saya dapat daripada orang yang pergi course nama dia rasakan okey orang yang pergi course tu hanya boleh didapati oleh orang yang pergi course saja ha begitu tapi saya berjaya <laughs> meminjam okey uh, tapi buku ni saya tak boleh bagilah eh? Sorry to say Sebab ni agak Pemilik buku ni saja uh, Saya tak boleh nak I cannot allow you to print ke photo state ke Sebab memang tak boleh beli Dia kena pergi kos tu Baru dapat buku ni So buku ni memang kita ambil Untuk jadikan sedia berkata juga Sebab dia reference uh, Tapi berdasarkan siapa yang pergi Ni yang the latest version lah Ni saya ceritakan 2016 kot Semua pemilik tu dah 20 session Ni bukan, bukan promote eh so dalam ni, memang dalam ni uh, tu dah tadi 3% 2018 tu dia dah review dia dah revise from 5% to 3% ok, ini buku ni saya pinjam je tak boleh bagi korang tak boleh bagi auto state semua ok, 
Sorry eh, tak boleh nak potong step banyak, tak boleh. So itu yang di revise daripada 5% to 3%. Nampak beza kan? 2010 tu masih lagi 5%. Tapi 2018 sudah jadi 3% lah. Okay, sudah jadi 3%. Maksudnya voter drop ni ha, sepatutnya at the end tu dia akan dapat 3%. Okay, 3%. Maximum. The maximum one is 3%. Including the string and the array. However, still the same. This is the equation for single cable. I didn't say it's total up of the string plus array. You need to calculate separately for the string and array. Ulang balik eh. Soalan tadi is only one. So we assume that's only for the string cable. Tapi nanti dah ada assignment, saya specify dah pun. Untuk string dan juga array, dia berbeza-beza. Cable string contohnya 20 meters. Cable array contohnya 30 meters. Lain-lain ni string boleh tak? Boleh tak? Ada tak? Acik tak? Ada empat string. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. Ini di bus bar kan? Di parallel kan here then another one cable, a thicker cable. Kita assume kita guna grid inverter kan? Thicker cable sambung kepada inverter. Ini inverter kan? So this thicker cable. This thicker cable kita panggil sebagai array cable. Yang ini string. Okay, itu yang beza string array. So dia sepatutnya tak mix string lain, array lain. Kalau kat sini tengok array tu dia ada melibatkan beberapa parallel dan series. Okay. Alright. So calculate separately string and the, and the array eh. Okay. And then equation dia apa yang membezakan yang tadi tu. DC cable still the same. 2 multiply with a DC cable. 2 multiply with the length between the Modul to the inverter. Okay. Modul to the inverter. Kalau untuk string cable tadi tu, mungkin modul sampai combiner box. Okay. Modul sampai combiner box. And then combiner box sampai ke inverter. Yang tadi, soalan tadi tu kita anggap sama je lah. Satu je. Okay. Alright. So itu akan membezakan dia lah. So darab dua. And then IDC sama juga boleh pakai nilai IMP. Dan ini adalah nilai ni pun dah fix. Biasanya satu over lima fifty six. So ini adalah ADC cable. Yang kita kira tadi. Wah, dia boleh pusing. Ah, okay. Ini ADC cable. Okay. Ataupun soalan dia bagi cable apa pakai. Cable ni suitable ke tak? Contoh. You terus masuk cable size yang telah dimaksudkan tu. Ha. Ataupun tadi lah. Asal kira tadi, ini letak sini. Tapi ingat. This value must be Whether 2.5, 4, 6, 8, 8, 8, 10, 16. It must be this kind of value. Not the 0.5542. Eh, bukan eh. Not that cable. Itu bukan size cable. Itu hanyalah cross-sectional area for the cable to be minimally used for the string cable just now, for example. Okay. So, ini adalah memang value dia whether one uh, 2.5, 4, 6, 10, 16, 25 dan so on lah. Boleh? Dia kena exact value eh. Bukan yang point-point yang kita kira tu. Bukan. Kalau you masuk point-point tu memang you akan salah lah bagi sini. Boleh ke? Boleh ke nak beza dengan tadi je? Dia beza dekat bawah tu. Atas sama. Yang tadi ada loss kan. Loss darab dengan VMP string kan. For this case, no VMP string and loss ever considered now. Kenapa loss tak ada? Sebab kita tengah nak kira voti drop. Okay? Saya beri contoh. Okay, saya beri contoh. A PV string comprises of seven modules where each module sama je. Hampir sama. Tapi ada beza sikit. Distance between the PV string and combiner box is 25. Up sikit. Saya letak 25. 25. Of cable size if, okay. The first thing. If 2.5 meter square of cable size is selected, estimate the possible voltage drop. Okay, so mean that I give you the the cable size 2.5 and then your job is to calculate the possible voltage drop. Okay, and then assume sensitivity of copper wire is 0.017857 ni sama macam tadi lah 1 over 56. So first of all solution macam biasa tulis dah equation ni. Okay, and then masuk nilai. 
You got the distance between the PVC and commander box tengah ada dua situ. 25 meters, that's only value yang kita ada. So kita ambil 25. So kita tak ekos dia ada string ke ada array tak payah. Satu soalan ni tanya ni je. So darat lah. So maksudnya 25. So 25 lah sini. 35. And then fiber three bus stay the same. But the cable size now 2.5 lah. Sebab ambil level sini. Then. So dia you kira you dapat 1.9107 volt. Okay. Still doesn't come out the percentage. So what should we do? Nak kira percentage tu, you kena bagi yang V drop DC over VMP stream. VMP stream tadi macam mana? Berapa VMP stream? Uh, Aisyah? Ah, yes lah. VMP3 tu berapa? VMP3. Hello? Ting. Allah, tu betul. Ah, uh, 97 kali 7. Oh, Hello, sir. Ah, uh, dengar tak? Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Betul. Betul ni. 19.7 multiple by 7 eh. Betul. Hmm, tak jadi eh. Oh, tu kira kan. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, ni mana dah kira kan. Tak tahu lah betul tidak. Betul kot. <laughs> betul kot dia kira tu. Ha, okay. So in this case, uh, 1.3856% betul tak dapat jawapan ni? Ke aku salah kira? Tolong siapa-siapa tolong kirakan. Dapat saya. Dapat eh? Alhamdulillah. Syukur. So dapatlah 1.3856% Oh, terus lompat. Ilainya kan ada goreng-goreng ayat. So maksudnya ni uh, masih comply lah less than 3%. So the cable is appropriate lah. Cable ni appropriate lah. Cable dan jarak ini appropriate. Boleh guna. Tapi kalau in case you calculate uh, distance lah. Let's say distance tu become 100 meter kan. So bila 100 meter tu dia multiply with 4. 4. So bila multiply with 4 tu definitely will close to the 4, 3, 5.2%. So at the time it's not allowed lah. Means the cable side cannot use 2.5. You kena guna 4.0. Faham tak aku cakap Faham tak aku cakap apa? Faham tak uh, Nur Jian saya cakap apa tadi? Faham sir. Wah oh, faham wow. Maksudnya kalau next soalan contohlah kan next soalan 100 meter. Kalau 100 meter logiknya yang ni akan darab 4 kan? Betul tak? Apa buat ni? 4 mungkin dah sekitar 5.2% kot agaknya lebih kurang. So ini tak boleh lah. Tak boleh lah. Tak boleh guna 2.5. It's not appropriate because the voltage drop is higher than 3% pun. 5.2% is too high. So you need to use 4.0. Then you click F 4.0. Saya rasa 4.0 akan dapat kod. Mungkin akan dapat kod sebab dia akan bagi 2. Dia orang. Mungkin dapat 2.5 atau dekat dekat 3 lah. Mungkin 4.0 tu appropriate. So at the time, the use cable is not appropriate. The suggested cable is 4.0 mm square. For example. Contoh. Okay, last, 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 betul, last, tak tipu, last, okay. Just now we have finished about the uh, cable size, cable size, lepas tu uh, cable size, lepas tu voltage drop, but now power loss, okay, power loss, okay. Typical modus or string cables are 1.5 to blah, 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 and then uh, kita tahu semua, hilang. <laughs> 2.5 meter square minimum cable size that can be used in the string. Once the cable has been selected, actual voltage drop, power loss can be calculated. So DC power loss expressed in percentage, okay, or an absolute, uh, absolute real value, boleh nama mana. Tapi macam saya cakap tadi, kita tak payah fokus pasal AC ni, kita letak tepi je, kita fokus hanya pada DC je. Eh. Kali ni kita fokus DC je. Apa beza dengan yang tadi tu? Dia sikit eh, dia tambah ni eh. So power loss tadi tu berbeza dengan tadi tu 
tambah I tu lagi. Kan? P dengan VI kan? So tadi uh, kita kira V tadi, kita darabkan lagi dengan I je. So daripada sini tu beza, tambah ni je. Benar ni. Betul. Tu je beza dia. Power loss. Okay. Tu je beza dia. So ni saya sengaja letak yang sama je. So yang ni dua kali. So kat sini maksudnya 5.35 ni multiply with uh, uh, times 2. Eh, times 2. Uh, power 2 eh. Power 2. And akan dapat 10.222 watt. Uh, so ini dapatlah uh, DC loss in watt. Okay DC loss in watt. Biasanya kita tanya watt dia kita tak tanya lah tukar benda percentage dan sebagainya. Cukup sekadar berapa watt lah. So maksudnya total DC loss power. Power DC loss tu adalah sebanyak 10.2 watt. Okay, 10.2 watt. Okay. Boleh ke? Dua slide lagi, dua slide lagi. Dua slide ke tiga slide? Haa, dua slide. Sak-sak lah. Tak apa, uh, we are going to learn all the theory here. Nanti uh, Rabu dan minggu depan nanti saya akan pergi balik, saya akan cari uh, soalan modul yang kita kira balik warranted semua tu. Jangan risau, jangan risau. Kita akan kira balik warranted apa kerja dah semua tu kan. Yang kira kalau tak ada ni macam mana, nak buat macam mana, kira macam mana, tak ada percentage tolerance nak buat macam mana Dan saya akan ajar setiap air rabu ni dan minggu depan kot Kita buat revision benda tu Sebab kita ok ni, pace kita ok So nanti kita akan buat revision Rabu dan minggu depan Sebelum buat assignment Ok So uh, It is system designer job to provide an estimate of the energy yield The system can provide this information may be provided as annual yield Haa uh, macam cakap tadi Kita panggil annual yield Okay Ni yang tak cukup tu kena penalty lah Penalty Okay Since the available solidation does vary throughout the year It can be provided as a monthly yield So PV annual yield ni kita dah learn pun sebelum ni Yang, yang dulu tu Kalau ingat lagi lah Yang kita kira E-system is the same thing. Tapi ni biasanya uh, asking you about the inverter means that it's totally uh, maybe uh, imitated, not imitated, it's totally like your assignment. Nanti akan buat assignment, totally design. So kita bagi you spec apa benda. Lepas tu you akan kira daripada awal. You akan kira soalan modul, you akan kira inverter mana nak pilih. Lepas tu akan kira semua berapa matching dia, berapa modules in parallel, in series semua tu And then finally, you kira the voltage drop, you kira the energy yield Eh, energy yield lah Kira voltage drop and you kira the size of cable Then after that, you dapat kira energy yield The real energy yield lah Okay Ingat tak? Yang ni kan, NPV inverter kalau you ingat lagi Ini adalah cable efficiency kan Power loss Okay, power losses in the, in CA, apa CA ni? In cable. CA, scanesis. Yang ni adalah VDC tadi. Ini daripada VDC yang kira tadi. Okay. Maksudnya, VDC dah kira, satu tolak VDC tu. Kita, uh, kita kira cable efficiency yang maksudnya satu tolak VDC tu. Ini adalah total yang you kira just now. Kita kat sini, sini nanti kita akan masuk balik. Dekat total energy yield ni ha. okay. Lepas tu ni semua inverter punya berapa f time f date semua ni ha. Ini adalah value yang last kali kita dapat Ni kita panggil energy requirement Okay, total balik, kira balik tadi ni Yang itu kita by design by criteria kan Kita by criteria kita keluarkan berapa sistem secara rough Yang ni kita the, the whole Kita reverse balik, kita kira sistem balik Lepas dah matching inverter dengan module Voltage dia tu, then kita akan dapat lagi yang dia baru punya energy risk After we consider the V-drop Okay Right And then next Lepas dah kira energy yield ni, biasanya we asking you buat specific yield Jangan tanya saya, apa oh, maksud specific yield ni, dia ada dalam buku ni kan Specific yield ni, can be calculated as uh, Allah Amerika So ini yeah. Okay, E-system PLA of E system ini in what hour over PSD in what okay uh, ini ataupun dia panggil what peak okay so ini adalah specific yield bukan Shahiman eh SY anu specific yield and then performance ratio 
Okay, performance ratio is the E system bagi E ideal. Ia ni uh, EPV darat dengan PSH. Okay, EPV darat dengan PSH. Ia ni pun uh, ni senang je. Ini dua markah je. Sub, sub susah. Kalau tak, kalau betul awak kira tadi ya, eh, inverter matching betul. Dia akan effect tu daripada voltage drop sebab nombor parallel seri semua ada kan. Uh, cable side betul kira, voltage drop betul kira and then boleh kira energy yield balik, specific yield and performance ratio. Benda ni bukan susah, dia kira macam tu kan. Dia tak ada complicated mana pun. So that, tapi kalau daripada awal contoh voltage drop dah salah kira. Salah pilih cable size. Tadi kan contohnya awak guna 1.5. Ha tu dah salah dah. Dia akan effect kat voltage drop. Dia akan effect tu kat sini. So at the end dia effect sampai ke ujung lah. Dia akan salah. Ha, macam tu. Saya bagi example eh. Bagi example. Last but not least. 5 minutes. Okay. Momon. Dia tak nama Momon. Momon promise his client that if he design proposal uh, 7 kilowatt peak system is receiving enough annual radiation of uh, 15, 26 hours. This system is expected to yield at least 8,600 kilowatt hour of energy. Based on his claim, estimate the specific yield and performance ratio for this system. Okay. Dekat sini dia bagi apa? Value apa yang dia bagi? Ni apa? Ni apa ni? 1526 PSH PSH Okay ni PSH annual lah Maksudnya apa? Ni apa? Sorry tak tinggal kilo awal Ni nilai apa? Najihah Wah Tak tak nama sikit Our module. Our how? Eight thousand six hundred, apa? Eight thousand six hundred kilowatt hour tu nilai apa? Maximum power. Maximum power of the energy. Bukan. The kilowatt hour tu, kilowatt hour of energy. Hmm. Tak tahu. Tak lagi. Expected ni yeah, energy ya. Yeah. Ah, expected ah, Expected yield tu betul kan So maksud ni apa? Yeah. Kan? Ah, okay. uh -huh. Yeah betul Yield betul lah tu ah, Energy yield tu ni Okay And then Okay dari situ bolehlah kira Specific yield tu Tulis juga lah Terus-terus senang Oh tertinggal eh. Ini PRA STC Okay Dari pada sini terus boleh kira Specific yield E-system kita tak payah nak kira. Okay, E-system tak payah nak kira sebab dah bagi. Kan? E-system ni yang kita bagi tadi. 8,600 kilowatt hour. And then PLSTC also given 7 kilowatt peak. Then cara nak kira spesifik ini gini je lah. E-system bagi PLSTC 8,600 kilowatt hour over 7 kilowatt peak. Kita panggil peak. Okay, P kecil tu. So dapat. 128.5714 kilowatt hour kilowatt peak uh, mana semua kan? Okey jangan tanya saya kenapa tak bagi. Ha ni sebenarnya dia nak is is the expression of the specific yield lah. Ha, itu dia punya penggunaan value dia tu apa nama tu? Eh penggunaan value dia dia punya expression unit dia untuk specific yield tu memang dah fix. Dia memang tinggal gini. Maksudnya kita tak potong lah. Kilowatt, kilowatt ni boleh potong walaupun ada P. Kita letak P tu supaya tak potong lah eh. Sebenarnya watt. Watt, watt mesti bagi kan tak. Tapi untuk case yang spesifik yin ni sahaja unit dia memang dalam kilowatt hour over kilowatt peak. Ha, tu memang fix. Kau tak boleh nak tikai lagi dah. Kau jangan bahagi jadi hour sudah. Ha, tak boleh. Sesuai tak boleh. Dia memang kekal gini. Boleh. Boleh nafis? Boleh saya boleh. Puati tak puati terima je lah. Ha, ni dalam dalam buku ni lah tulis. 
ini yang follow ok, lepas tu performance ratio dengan mudah dan kacangnya ok, dengan mudah dan kacangnya uh, e-system ni kita dah tahu dah berapa e-system berapa lepas tu e-ideal adalah PRSTC darab PSHPA yang ni sama 1000 kilowatt hour ini PRSTC 7 kilowatt eh saya pecahkan terus dalam watt so 7 multiply by 10 to 3 power to 3 then ini 1526 ni adalah PSHPA yang kita dapat dari sini ok and then dapatlah 0.8051 ataupun 18.51% Okay, 80.51%. Itulah. So inilah yang semudah-mudahnya. Sebenarnya performance ratio ni kacang goreng. Kacang goreng je. Ini kalau awak tak sempat. Biasanya kadang-kadang student tak sempat selesai. Energy gear tu dia tak sempat kira. Tertinggal yang belakang ni. Padahal belakang ni senang je. Paling common, paling busuk pun kontrol lah equation tu. At least dapatlah satu markah. Satu markah kan. Sebab jawapan tu satu markah je. Biasanya saya bagi dua markah je maksimum. Boleh. Maksudnya yang itu atas saya bagi dua, yang ni paling baik, habis banyak pun dua, dua markah ni. So kalau tulis equation satu ni, adalah belas kasihan kan. Belas kasihan ni saya bagilah satu-satu. Okay. okay yang detail tu, air rabu ni dengan minggu depan kita akan belajar balik. Kita ambil contoh lain lah. Nanti saya cari yang pasal tolerance tu pun nanti saya cari. Kita-kita sama-sama bermuhasabah nanti ya. Eh.